what's up everybody it's Brian again with Happy Thumbs Gaming and today we've got the announcer trouncer challenge for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 where we're going to show you where all 15 of those Kang loudspeakers are so we can destroy them and shut him up once and for all and for doing that we're actually going to get Taser Face's M ship vehicle token that's right Taser Face for any of you guys who've seen the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy I'm sure that is a little extra funny for you as Taser Face has a pretty uh, epic uh, scene or two in that movie. Anyhow, moving along, we are right in front of the Avengers Mansion, and we're going to go ahead and check out the challenge itself. Destroy all of Kang's speakers, 0 of 15. So uh, simply listen for the loud sounds of Kang's voice ringing out. There's not one in every area, but there's one pretty close. I, I guess there's 15 of them and 17 areas, so there's a couple that are short. But anyhow, this one is right on the front right side of the Avengers Mansion, so we'll go ahead and smash that and move along. The next one is going to be up, up, and away over in Wakanda. And this gets a little funny. So I, I chose... <laughs> I chose Thor, or uh, a version of Thor, and, you know, I basically wanted to kind of switch things up a little bit, and I had a heck of a time trying to target to throw my hammer, or Mjolnir, if I'm saying that right. But, uh, it, it, so anyways, I eventually switched, because this next one is a struggle. So watch, watch this. So I get around, and I find the old speaker, which happens to be right above where we found one of the treasures. That's right, and so I slip and fall, and then I, because I realize I can't fly and target with Thor or, you know, whoever, and uh, in this particular case, there's no, like, projectile, so I don't have the ability to throw my hammer whilst flying, so uh, I swing and I miss, I miss and I swing, I try to kick, and then I slide through, and then I... Uh, this was frustrating. So I eventually switched characters, I believe, and we uh, try. Yep, we get our pew pew on with old. Yeah, that's right. We got some. We got some shots to fire now because that was a little ridiculous. But all right, moving right along, we're gonna head on over to Nueva York. This one is kind of tucked down in a secret little spot. It's uh, almost underground, but it gets uh, lots of sound out. So we'll go ahead and show you where it is. It's actually on the far left side of Nueva York, tucked inside this little shaft. Giggity. But uh, we'll go ahead and show you on the map real quick where that's at and target it. Booyaka show. That one is officially trounced. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next one, which happens to be over in Sakaar. We, don't, we haven't had a lot over in this area, but uh, we got one right here. In fact, I do believe this is the image we use for our thumbnail. So it might look a little familiar. I don't know. You'll have to be the judge of that. Anyhow. All right, moving along on over to Asgard. This one's kind of tucked in a funny spot, too. So some of these are definitely placed in weird locations to not stand out and, and not get your attention, while others are just blatantly obvious and right in your path. So this is kind of one of those ones that, like, you know, unless you're flying counterclockwise around the map, you might not see because it's tucked behind that little pillar there. But this next one, we're going to go up to the sky. And basically, I went up high because in our trophy achievement guide written by Tyler P., he makes a mention that uh, looking at your map, it's on the wall against the large rectile building. Rectile? Rectangle. Re what's a rectile? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at it again, making up new words. Uh, anyhow, I promise Tyler P's guy did not say that. So anyway, shout out to Tyler P for hooking me up with all these locations of all these wonderful things. It sure took a long time, I'm sure, to sort all this nonsense out and uh, made my job pretty easy. So thanks, Tyler P. And hey, while I'm at it, thanks to WB2 for hooking us up with a copy of this game. As you guys know, Warner Brothers takes good care of us and hooks us up with Lego games, Lego sets, and other stuff too. So... Anyhow, uh, this one in the Wild West, or Old West, my bad, is actually tucked under. My best piece of advice is to follow the old railroad tracks from the old monorail station, and it actually goes under the city, and you can find the speaker right above where the, tr the tracks actually break off. So, And this next one is in Hala. I've kind of got behind in my commentary here, but that's all right. We'll speed things up. It's actually right below the billboard in the middle of Hala. So we can go ahead and check that one off our list and move out to King Citadel. So we're going to follow the old bridge. It's the Gray Brick Road all the way over to King Citadel. Or Kang Citadel. Why do you call it King? I don't know what's going on here. My words are all funny. I got too much stuff going on. Anyhow, uh, we'll t go ahead and fly up just a little ways. And it's on the big side wall of the Citadel that belongs to Kang, who I guess kind of is the king in a roundabout way. At least he thinks he is. All right, speaker number 11. 
one is all the way back to Egypt. So walk like an Egyptian. I was trying to do the old dolphin fly there for you, but didn't work out so hot. But uh, this guy's actually right on the back of the big monument that's in front of both of the pyramids. Not the Sphinx on the back, but the square, kind of a uh, pillar-like pillar. That's right, pillar-like pillar. Deal with it. Uh, next up, we're going to head right on back into Manhattan Noir, and this one's pretty easy. It's right in between the two bridges on the apartment building, and it's kind of weird, though, because it's not as purple or purple as the rest of them, because it's all grayscale here, so although it does kind of have a purple tint to it, it's a little bit harder to detect because of the area's special effect. Now, moving along, we're going to head on over to the Hydra Empire, and this one is actually going to be over right in the middle of kind of the... Uh, uh, main area, but off to the left-hand side, tucked right next to the H. That's right. So we'll go ahead and show you on the map right quick where we is, and we'll go ahead and get our blast on. Pew, pew. All right, number 13 is officially done, and we can fly all the way over to Manhattan. This one was one of the more difficult ones for me to find. Uh, basically, you know, not to throw anybody under the bus, but the description I had to follow confused me. I was actually looking on the building corner on the right right there instead of a little bit further into town. We're looking, This guy's tucked uh, away, and, and he's hiding in the shadows, too, so he isn't very purple either, so... Uh, anyhow, we got him, and up, up, and away we go, because the last and final one is up on Atalan. And this one's kind of tricky. Uh, you know, basically, our best piece of advice is, because it's a circle, uh, we can kind of look at the map and gauge what side of the circle we are on based on, like, the, the stuff below us. So, in this case, we're going to go over to Egypt and be uh, up in there on the Atalan side. And basically, it, it's uh, you know near the ground, and it's facing Egypt. So uh, we'll go ahead and show you right here. We're going to go all the way over to this road right here, and we're going to follow this little pathway back to the main entrance, but not go to the entrance. We're going to drop down into the left, and look at this guy tucked in here. All right, we'll go ahead and show you on the map, just because that was probably confusing, trying to follow us all the way in here. But we got it! That's right, Taserface's M-Ship is now ours, and we are the greatest ever, and our name is Taserface, which we apparently chose, or I don't know, I guess we didn't choose, my name isn't, isn't really Taserface, just for the record, just to clear that up. Alright, uh, last but not least, we'll go ahead and take a quick peek, and yes, in fact, we got all 15 of the King's speakers, and we no longer have to listen to his loud yapper flapper, which is kind of the case for you too, because this video's over, that's gonna wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Announcer Trouncer Challenge, where we got all 15 of those speakers, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful and a wee bit entertaining, and hey, this time I didn't get the text wrong. Hmm? Anyways, as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. <laughs> you like that? I threw myself under the bus at the end there. Got the text right this time. So.